Hi everyone and welcome to what's new in Indelay 1.5. So in here we have a session written from the ground up in Spatial. We are using Apple Renderer and using the binaural output for this. That's what we will be listening to in this demo. We have a few main groups as you can see. At the very top we have all the rhythm section, we have uh, some kicks, we have percussion right here, we have a few tracks die cast metals, cymbals and all that. Then we have a second group for all the vocals. So we have the lead vocals, we have some background vocals and then pretty much everything else. All the synthesizers, we have piano, brass section, leads and all that. And in the last group we have in delay. So here we have two in delay instances in the aux mode and we also have one instance in the insert mode. That's what this one is. You will notice how there's a difference in color once you toggle the lock or not. That's what we will be talking about in this specific video and how you can use in delay as an insert or in the aux mode. So with that Let's jump in. For now, we will only be focusing on the rhythm section of this song. So let's take a listen to just the rhythm section without any delay. So we have the rhythm section in In Delay muted and let's listen only to the dry sound. So we won't go into the details of how the plugin itself works, we have other videos in the channel covering that and in this new version what we have added based on user feedback is this lock button. So in this specific mode I am sending all these tracks into an aux channel and in delay is now used in the aux mode which means I don't want to hear any dry signal at all. So by turning this lock on I can say hey. When I randomize the plugin, or even if I choose a different preset, don't touch this knob. I want it to be in that locked aux mode. It's exceptionally useful and powerful. This way, you can stay in your creative mindset. If you don't have the lock on, as you can see, when you randomize it or when you change presets, the volume knob will change to how it was. So that was aux mode. Another new feature for this release also includes the ability to link movements or effects. What that means is that while in previous versions of in delay you could have different movements for each tap, which you still can. As an example, you can have no movement for tap 1, no movement for tap 2, and then for tap 3 you want it to go up and down, for example, with a different setting. But maybe you want all of them to have the same movement. Maybe you want to link all of the tabs. How cool is that? So right now I can be in any tab mode and I can change the setting and it affects every single tab. Same in the channels mode. So if you link the different channels, they will be linked together. That's what this button does. Another cool thing about this button is it actually preserves the previous settings. So now, if you turn back off, it goes back to the independent setting I had before I linked the taps. So now, you can experiment with what it will sound like if you link everything. You can try it and you can quickly AB and compare what it sounds like. So that's the link button for movements. However, you can also now add the link button to the effects tab. So just like before, you can have different effects on different tabs. So you can have different settings or you can even have a completely different effect between tabs. As an example, I can have the craziness effect in one tab and then something completely different on a different tab. But right now you can link everything together, which is very cool, right? So let's try to listen to the specific in delay plugin that I'm using on the vocals. So let's solo just the delays. Let's start by hearing the original vocal sound without any effects on it. That sounds really cool. Yet another cool feature 
is the change in the curve for the ghost. So here we have the dry signal. It sounds too bright in my opinion, so this is a good time to introduce the low cut and high cut filters that we've added in this new version of InDelay. It almost sounds like the air plugin or the air effect that's been in InDelay. Well, let's try that. We have not just up to 100% anymore, but now we have up to a thousand percent. So this is also a new improvement in the new version of InDelay. So let's hear the difference. Nice. But that's too dark. That sounds about right. A little more. There you go. Let's see. So, in this version of InDelay, we have made a lot of changes. One of them is how we improved the menu section, where you have an easier, better way to rename and organize all of the presets, as you can see. You can simply just hit the save button, which is now at the very top, and you can type in a new name and easily save it. As a few other improvements, we've made an improved tap button that I will show you in a moment. So this track that we are looking at right now is actually a synth track. Let's hear it first. So that's the original. And in this track, I'm also using both voice and Max DSP's APB to kind of make it a bit better. I wanted to hear what the synth might sound like with vocals. That sounds not too bad, but could be better. So let's try to use in delay, but this time in an insert mode instead of using it as an aux, as we've seen before. Sounds pretty cool, but if you were in the particles mode, we can try that. And here we can change the Gaussian curve. That's an improvement, but I don't like that specific effect on the vocals. So I'm going back to maybe taps. And here there's a pretty cool thing. When you use the taps mode, the tap button will act as a tap delay button to easily insert new taps, just like you would do in a console or in a delay unit. So here we go. Another great feature is how you can fine tune even when in sync with our new swing feature. So if you press and hold command, you can have one fourth plus a few milliseconds. So you get that human element or even the tape element of a delay from the good old days. So you can still be in sync. You can have it set to one eight and then press and hold the command button and then click and drag to add a bit of swing but within that set tempo. So that's another new improvement in this version of InDelay. Let's hear it from the top once more. <laughs> 